Hello everyone, in this video we are going to make a notepad using python. So let's get started. At first I'll create a new file. I'll name it notepad.py and here I'll import kinter. So I'll add from kinter.file dialog import all and then I'll import Tinker as TK. All right. Now I'll create the UI of our application. For this, I'll write canvas is equal to TK dot TK. And then I'll set the geometry of the canvas. I'll set it to 400 into 600. Let's give a title to the canvas canvas dot title I'll name it notepad and now I'll set a background color so I'll write canvas dot config and here I'll set the background to white you can choose any color as you like all right now let's see Alright, at first I have to write canvas dot uh, canvas dot main loop. Okay, now let's see how it looks. Okay, so now let's add some buttons over here. So for this, I'll write B1 equals button pass the canvas. And for the text, I'll write open and I'll set the background color of this button to white. Now let's pack this button v1.pack. Let's run this. As you can see it's on the top center so I want to move it to the left so I write side equals left now let's see all right as you can see now it's moved to the side but it's not in the top but in my case what I want is I want to keep the button to the top left corner and I also want to add a second button right next to it so let's do that I'll just copy this to create another button I'll name it B2 I'll change the text to save let's run this it's getting side to each other but I need to move them to the top so for this I'll create a new frame which I which I will attach to the top left corner and then I'll put all the buttons inside that frame so let's do that over here I'll create a frame and I'll pass the canvas here and let's pack this so top dot pack and here I want to give some padding so let pad x equals to 10 and pad y equals to 5 I'm adding these paddings to make this UI look much beautiful so now in order to pack this to the top left corner I'll write anchor equals NW all right now inside the buttons I have to write in underscore equals top okay and I have to do the similar for the next one so in equals top all right now let's run this and as you can see it's in a suitable position for us 
so I'll add just two more buttons so I'll copy this all right I'll name it to b3 b3 and this one is b4 I'll set the text of the third one to um, clear and the fourth one is exit all right as you can see these are looking good so now let's create a entry entry equals that will be text and I'll pass the canvas and here I'll set the background to F9 DD A4 and I'll set the font so I'll write font equals uh, the font name will be Poppins and the font size I'll take 15 alright now let's pack this so let entry dot pack and here I'll give this some padding so pad x equals 10 and pad y equals 5 so let's run this now as you can see it's looking good we can type here and one thing I want to show you is if I write a proper sentence like hello everyone my name is Ivan and I make videos so as you can see here uh, for the word make there wasn't proper space here to put the four letters so it just printed three here and the E is on the new line so in order to avoid this type of problems I'll just put here wrap equals word so that will handle that so let's try this hello everyone my name is Ivan and I make videos as you can see now it's looking good and one thing is here that if I expand this you can see it's not taking the proper or the full width of that window so if I maximize it it just it's not expanding so let's handle this for this I'll just write inside the entry dot pack expand equals true and fill equals both so it will fill in both the x and y coordinates so now let's run this if I extend this then you can see it's not it's totally working fine it's getting the full width and height of that window so it looks good now let's focus on the functions so for the buttons I'll just for the button B1 I'll add a new command here command equals open file for the B2 the command is save file and for the b3 the command is clear file oops it will be inside command is clear file and for the b4 we want to exit that window so there is a built-in command for that 
the command will be exit so we just need to implement these three methods so let's do that now i'll write define save file and inside here i'll create a new file i'll ask from the user to the save as file name so let ask save as file and here i'll pass the mode equals write because we want to save this file and i'll set the file type to here i need to pass the text files and i'll also set the default file type to .txt all right now i'll write if new file is none then i'll return and after that i'll take a variable called text and inside that i'll take all the text files or all the text variables from the entry so i'll write a string format entry dot get and i'll take all the characters from the beginning to the end so 1.0 index to the end all right and now we can write the file so i'll write new file dot write and here i'll pass the text and finally we can close that file so new file dot close all right now let's create this uh, open file method so let open file and here i'll take a variable file and i'll ask from the user to the file name ask open file and here i'll set the mode to read because here we are trying to open that file and then i'll set the file type to text files and also the default file type to .txt and here there won't be any star but there we have to write a star so make sure you write that and after that i'll write if file is not none then i'll just um, read that file so i'll write content equals file dot read and after that i'll put all the texts from that file to the entry so i'll write entry dot insert and here the first parameter is insert with all capital letters and the second one is the content all right so our this method is also done now let's implement the clear files method so let's define clear file and basically inside that we just need to clear all the text from the entry so this is very simple i'll just write entry dot delete and here i'll delete all the characters from the beginning to the end that's it so our coding part is complete let's run this as you can see here is our notepad we can write anything and we can click on clear so it will clear the text area and i can write my name is Ivan, and i can save that so it's asking me for the saving file name so let's say even.txt hit enter 
so it's saved so let's clear this and let's try to open that file so i'll click on open here is that event.txt select it and click on open so here is that text inside that file and we can finally click on the exit button to exit our notepad all right so that's how we can simply create a notepad using Kinter. Thank you for watching.